Ladies and gentlemen, today I give you the top 10 quality of life modules for better combat and world building in Foundry Virtual Tabletop for version 10. I will explain the main benefits of each module and demonstrate how they work on screen. One of the best quality of life modules for D&D 5th edition is the Argon Combat HUD module. This incredible module was recommended by our awesome subscribers. This impactful module gives a heads up display in the lower left hand corner that enables players and game masters to use their character sheet without opening it. You can open the Argon HUD by right clicking on your character token and clicking the crossed swords button on the top left corner. Now you have easy access to all of your character's actions, reactions, and bonus actions at a moment's notice. You can easily access your character sheet by clicking the suitcase button in the lower left. You can easily equip weapons by dragging weapons from your character sheet to boxes in the lower left. You can have three sets of weapons and click on each to swap between weapon sets, like when a ranger switches from ranged combat to melee combat. You can easily track how many spaces you can move in combat by looking at the number of boxes in the lower left. The tracker will turn yellow when getting to dash and turn red when it's exceeded. You can also roll for skills, ability saves, and tool proficiencies by clicking the table above your character art. I rank this module a solid A because it will save you a ton of time, but hold back on higher scores because it is only for D&D 5th edition. The token action HUD module is compatible with many more game systems, so I recommend that one as an alternative if you are using something else. One of the best universally helpful quality of life modules is the Easy Notes module. This gives your players an easy and convenient way to take notes in game. Simply click the paper button in the lower left hand corner to open the notepad. Closing the notepad saves everything you have written. I rank this module a B- because it is universally helpful in all game systems. Every Dungeon Master I know wants their players to pay attention to the story and take notes on important events and NPCs so they do not forget. The problem is that you can create journal entries and do the same thing, which diminishes the relative benefit of this module. Found the Foundry VTT Arms Reach module restricts players from opening doors when they are more than 5 feet away. This is incredibly useful for preventing accidents like opening the door to the boss room when the players are 30 feet away. I rank this module a B- because it is useful for new players and not needed as much for experienced players. The Always HP module is a tremendously useful tool for cha easily changing the health of your characters. Both the Dungeon Master and players have the ability to kill, damage, heal, and revive their characters at a moment's notice. Simply left click on your token and click the corresponding buttons to adjust your hit points. Type in how much you want the hit points to change. I rank this module an A- because it is compatible with a lot of game systems and super useful for speeding up combat. The next few modules enhance your world building experience to the next level. The Compendium Folders module organizes your compendiums into folders and lets you toggle lock and toggle visibility of contents. I rank this module a B-. This is invaluable for long-term campaigns and sandbox adventures that build up more compendiums. The Permission Viewer module displays colored diamonds, squares, and circles to represent the players who have limited or observer or owner ownership of documents like actors, journals, items, cards, macros. It makes it very easy to see at a glance which journal, actor, item, etc. is shared with your players. I rank this module a B-. This helps the Dungeon Master keep track of what information players know that guarantees no part of their story is lost by accident. The bigger the campaign, the more useful this module becomes. The Show Notes module shows journal notes on a map that players have permission to see. Essentially, this clicks the purple button on the Notes tool for your players. I rank this module a B because I use this module in every campaign I have a world map. It saves me the trouble of explaining how to show notes to my players and lets me populate locations on the world map. Super convenient and saves me from getting a headache. The Journal Thumbnail module uses the image of a journal entry as a thumbnail for the journal. This means that your journal entries will have a small image by them to remind you what they look like. I rank this module a solid B. This is great for adventures that have a lot of artwork. You can visualize what image goes to what location, an item, etc. Particularly helpful for visual learners and showing treasure. 
The break time module tracks when players have returned from a break. Simply click the T icon in the lower left and opens a dialog box. This makes it a little easier than going through roll call or waiting for someone to return when they've been back for a while and just had their microphone on mute. I rank this module a C+, because it is modestly useful and universally applicable since everyone needs a bathroom break at one point in their adventure. The user latency module displays player's latency next to their name. This helps inform you if someone is lagging. I like using this module to identify when I need to slow the story down. I don't want to bombard the players with too many images if they are lagging. I don't want to move the NPCs too fast if the players cannot keep up. I rank this module a solid C because it is useful in all campaigns. This is particularly worthwhile for games with international players and long-term campaigns that accumulate a lot of items and journal entries. As a bonus, I also recommend the pop-out module. This module adds a pop-out button to most actor sheets, journal entries, and applications. The pop-out button allows you to open a sheet slash application slash document into its own window for easier viewing and for use with multiple monitors. I rank this module a D plus. Super useful for game masters that have a DM screen on their second monitor or players that use a second monitor to view the world map. Due to the functionality, due to the necessarily brittle nature of how this module is implemented, other modules may lack functionality or break completely when popped out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I posted a link to all the modules in the video description below. This is not a sponsored video. I am making this video to help you. If you share our vision of creating amazing interactive adventure games, we have a whole playlist of helpful and awesome Foundry VTT videos in the video description below for your thoughtful consideration. What should we cover next in our videos? Let us know in the comments below.